Good morning. Good morning, everybody. This is Monday morning. It's Monday morning with Merle and Patty as we discuss all things relationships. All kinds of relationship. We often focus on love relationships, finding a love, fixing a love, but in also work relationships, every kind of relationship. Hi, Tanya, we love you. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what are we talking about? Oh, this is Merle Singer. I, she is a relationship miracle worker. She will help you find a love, fix a love. She does private sessions and she has a special going on right now. <laughs> and if you're looking for individual counseling, I whether live <laughs> or by Skype or Facebook video, she work with you anywhere. <laughs> and I'm Patty Negri. I'm your good neighborhood, good witch, psychic, medium, uh, expert in such things. I've been married so many times I could help you. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh, <kind of. laughs> um, anyway, so what are we talking about today, Vaughn? So today we're talking about uh, a quote I found somewhere, which is, when my baby puts me down, it pranks my soul. Now this is a quote I got from Roosevelt Sykes, who was a jazz mu musician that was born in 1906 or something and uh, lived until I believe it's till the 80s. So, uh, and, and he was a, a, a jazz, you know, big a piano player, kind of big kind of guy. And I, I, don't, I don't remember the, uh, I don't remember the circumstances, but it just touched me when my baby puts me down it, it pranks my soul. It hurts me. And I think so many times in relationships, we're so mad at the other person that we say, hey, you idiot, why did you do it that way? Why aren't you dressed this way? Why didn't you say that? What? And, you know, it has, it has consequences. It hurts them. And um, maybe it makes you feel better, but... You don't want to hurt somebody you care about. And nine out of ten times, you're not saying this to a stranger. Right. You're saying it to somebody you love. Yeah. So I, 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 I think uh, I, I, for some reason I, that quote just touched me. Because uh, it's using language different from what I'm we using. Use now. Yeah. Prank means something different now. But we get it. Pranks my heart. Um, and it sounds like lyrics to a musician, doesn't it? Nice, yes. bluesy, honky yes. tonk yes. lyric. Yes. Pranks my heart. Yes. yes. So, uh, so I think we have to learn that it, that we're not as power. We we feel so powerless when things aren't working the way we want it to work that we just lash out, and whoever happens to be around gets it. Yeah. Uh, and when you hear it in, in abuse cases and things, you say, oh yeah, you know, clearly that's terrible. And we also say clearly that's terrible when a guy is doing it, but it goes both ways. And, and uh, just venting our anger is we, I mean, in, in, our, in, in, in the new societal norms, that's abusive. It is. And, and it doesn't really make you feel better to make them feel bad. We think it does in the moment. It's that lash back. It's like, you hurt me, I'm going to hurt you. But they, 10 to 1, they probably weren't purposely hurting you because they wore the wrong outfit or they said something out of ignorance or, or quickly. They weren't trying to hurt you. But now you are trying to hurt them. And it makes it that much more painful, that much more damaging to the psyche, to the soul, to the pranking of the heart. As so, and here's something I want to say to to the, or the pranky or the pranky, whatever. Uh, to the person that's getting talked to and being made to feel bad. When they call, when... The person you care about, as, I mean, as painful as it is, you have to know that what somebody says in anger does not represent what they believe. It represents what they believe will hurt you. So if they say you no good whatever, it doesn't mean that they think you're a whatever. 
it means that they think it will hurt you if they say that to you. Which I, I, doesn't make it all right. But at least you can't take it that kind of personally. That's it. And no, it doesn't make it right at all. But you, self-protection, you have to understand that this is something going on. They're trying to hurt you, that's for sure. But it doesn't mean they really believe that in you. They're trying to hurt you. Because they're hurt. Because they're or hurt. angry. Or and a lot of times that hurt or anger or frustration has absolutely zero to do with you. I mean, I, 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 I could say I was guilty of this. We've all been guilty of that. Somebody comes home from work, bad day at work. Um, my husband's got one of those big egos while driving. He, so it's like his world. We're all like that on the thing. But, you know, when he sees how many stupid people and his quotes are out <laughs> everyone there. Else everyone stupid. else is stupid on the thing. You know, who does he take want to take it out on me? So I have to catch him. No, no, no. You know, hand him. <laughs> Kind of a tray of ice cubes to go throw out the window, <laughs> punching bag, you know, not really a punching bag, but something that it's, I, I'm i sure I know that every driver out there is stupid, but you can't take it out on me, I'm sitting in the house. <laughs> <laughs> What's he talking to you on the phone? Does he uh, well, you? no, he, he has, he has. It's like, okay, this is, you're just throwing up right here. That doesn't need to be on me. <laughs> That's 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 good. That's good. We have to remember that when we get frustrated in things, we just tend to throw up. And if you're going to throw up, the trick throw up is... Throw up in the bathroom. <laughs> right. Don't throw up on other people. And that's, that's, uh, that's the story behind the quote. So we said it all? I think we said wow, it. we've said it all. So be careful of your words. If you're there, we all get angry. We all want, we all get hurt, and we want to head back. It's just a human f fault within us. We're just how we're born, but we don't have to do it. We have control over that. So you know, think before you talk. Think before you yell. Think before and you, you have hurt. the power to hurt. You you know you scream and scream because you feel powerless, but. You, you're powerful, and what you say hurts. Nobody wants to have a prank in their heart. No, that's true. <laughs> so, we will be here next Monday, and are you going to be here tonight, Merle? No, not yet. Oh. Not yet, but... Shh, something coming for oh. Monday night soon. It's a teaser. I gave it away. <laughs> I won't say. I won't talk. <laughs> but please, find us on all the social medias. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, um, each of our websites, buy our books. Wah, wah, wah. You put it in front of your face, right next to your face. Put it in front of my face. Well, oh. I, I can't. Uh, Is, here, I think I'll put it. Uh, um, we have a singles class not coming until fall, though, but for LA area singles ladies who wants to yes. find the right love. Yes. Um, it's a three-week course. It's Sunday's afternoon. It's right here. It's Merle's in the Hollywood Hills. And, ooh, Tatiana can't wait. I know, Tanya. I can't wait either. It's a secret. I gave it away. Um, come back next Monday, 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, and whatever else in the middle for Monday morning with Merle and Patty. Bye. Bye, everybody.